Hello again, Arrogant Atheist with you. We have the Myth of Systopia podcast coming up, and uh, we're going to talk to uh, a real pagan priestess, if I can get her down here to talk. Um, one of my regrets uh, with my involvement in mythicism was that it was always about Christ myth theory, and you know, really, as an atheist in the movement, I'm like, you know, in the end, who gives a shit? Honestly, did Jesus exist? Did he not exist? We know he wasn't magic. We know he wasn't the son of God. We know he wasn't one third of a triune godhead that is some held up as some kind of standard of deep thinking in philosophical Christian circles, and I've always uh, wondered why the Trinity is so important. But why is the Trinity so important to people? That's another rant, probably, uh, but. Uh, we're going to get at uh, uh, the other myths. We're going to get at Norse mythology a little bit. We're going to talk to someone who actually practices pagan religion. Uh, and there's been an upsurge. They've built a temple to Thor. And why not? There's been a couple of biopics, one coming out pretty soon, uh, a third, uh, I think, uh, about Thor. So there's actually more evidence based on the movies about Thor lately than there is for Jesus, although there's plenty of Jesus movies, let's face it. But none of it is cool. Um, uh, but uh, you know, I was always sad that we didn't get into mythology, cool mythology, you know, more. They have a minotaur for a uh, for a uh, a mascot, but there's no Greek mythology that goes on. There's no exploring of Native American mythology. There's no exploring of uh, Maori legend, or you know, or other uh, mythologies from from around the world. Um, uh, so why not? You know, those are the fun stories. You know, they're a lot better than the the maudlin, gory, self loathing, weird. Back whipping with spiky whip thing, Jesus myths. You know, I, we're tired of it. You know, it's it's uh, it's depressing. You know, give me more Thor. Give me more Zeus, man. Zeus was a womanizer. Zeus went down and like bagged him some fine babes on Earth, man. Let's hear some stories like that. So we're gonna get uh, Dawn down to talk about Norse mythology. Um, it's the solstice, or just past it. So happy solstice to everybody. Um, the, uh, the the Fourth of July celebrations that are that are uh, coming up are coincidental, I think, to our, to our independence. But uh, you know that's the that's the height of the, the the sun. You know, around the Fourth of July, it's just a week or two past the solstice, and all of these things remind us that Christianity completely ripped off all the cool shit that they even have going on from all of the different pagan traditions and all of the other. Uh, I mean, the, even the, the, the actual. Myth are the important parts of the myth arc: the dying and rising god parts, and the the, the the born of a virgin, and the coincidence of the solstice birth, the December twenty fifth thing. Uh, all of these uh, all of these traits are uh, based on earlier gods uh, uh, like Mithras and Horus, and uh, the actual mythicists can do a lot better job of explaining it than me. But we know that the myth of Jesus was based on earlier myths, but the cool parts, the Christmas, the Easter, the, uh, the fun parts, are all you know, ripped off from the pagan religions that Christianity had to assimilate in order to avoid out-and-out war, just a big pain in the ass to convert people, you know, and destroy your church. No, we just, you know, we'll slip in our icon and then we'll slowly convert your cool pagan nature uh, worship religion into this weird... Uh, uh, you know, guilt and fear tactic. Uh, oh, someone died for me. No one died for you. Uh, religions. Um, so hopefully that'll be uh, of some interest. So uh, tune in and check out some other mythologies for once. Yeah, check out uh, all the episodes at atheistunderground.com and look for Mythosystopia coming out uh, in a week or two.